Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, there's a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit the opening call. You're going to hit subscribe. You're going to get a great newsletter. The opening call has a cost of $149 for one month, $695 for six months, which is a savings of $199, and $1,195 for one year, which is a savings of $593. They all come, 30-day money-back guarantee. You get the newsletter. You like it, great, you're gonna continue to be charged. For some reason, it doesn't work for your 30 days, folks, you can get your money back. Now, on top of that, Basil has a huge university. It might as well be a university. It's like, it's like 12 great webinars that are out there, okay, that you can go through to really understand how to ride that wave. Basil Chapman, you know, you, Basil, you know, it, it, this is amazing. On the front page, folks, of, um, was it the New York Times? It was the New York Times or Wall Street Journal this morning, or yesterday. What they had is that, you know, Basil's in Newton, but they, in w w Winthrop, they had a guy surfing before the storm, 40 I degrees out. Uh, and he said the water was 40 degrees. Isn't that cool? I know. The water's 40 degrees. It was zero. I mean, all around here, it was unbelievable. How do, I don't know how these people can do it because I remember back in Clifton Beach, back in South Africa, where, where I was born, Cape Town. Yes. Um, it's the on it's a peninsula that has on the one side the Atlantic Ocean, which is freezing. Yeah. On the other side, the Indian Ocean, which is pretty warm. That's where the sharks are. And um, I couldn't, I, I just, I, could, even when I wanted to surf, like my feet were just freezing. I, Some people are just fantastic in the water. I, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't up. handle that. Even with the thick, they had a he, they had a thick wetsuit on. But as Basil just said, folks, your feet, and hands, man. I mean, it was a, it was a cool picture though. It really was pretty cool, man. So Actually, market wise, I have a story I'll tell oh, you. Good. On one, yeah, of my no. show, one of my shows is where I was, uh, I was on on a, a floating, you know, one of those little floating mattresses. Yeah, and I got uh, uh, and I got kind of. I, I fell asleep, I guess, and the next thing I was out in the, in the ocean, and I'm paddling away trying to get back into the shore, and my hands were so cold, my feet were so cold, wow. I, could, I finally made it, and as I'm walking along on the beach to give back uh, this, this, uh, this equipment to the person who owned it, I hear oh. it had a leak, I just got there in time. That is I, sick. I, I wouldn't be here today, I can tell you that, because I'm not a very good swimmer. I'm, wow. I'm pretty good at diving and body surfing, but not swimming. That's so, intense. Yeah, yeah wow. it is. Well, so, we're yeah, glad you're here, was, man. Talking about a dive, the market took quite a bit, bit of a, a hit. The Dow went from 36,952 on the 5th of, uh, of January very quickly down to 33,150, still held up pretty well, and now it's come back strongly. So we, we've we been long since uh, through the, the, via the diamonds, Dow Diamonds, back in April of 2020, we've kept uh, kept uh, some of that position and we've been trading around it. So we were short, we took off our shorts um, yesterday morning, and now we, uh, we, and then at the same time, we switched to a long position, and uh, a long position via one of the implement, one of the uh, trading vehicles in the S and P, and this is more the kind of value rather than the uh, growth. So I, what I decided for subscribers, I had a very long um, video of my overview on Saturday for subscribers. I went through a lot of different uh, instruments, a lot of different stocks, and I decided that I would have a kind of a mix. So with this value, because uh, value still has a, a large part of this market, and because of the value side of it, I wanted to be in value, but at the same time, I wanted to ride the growth. So we chose a particular instrument, an ETF, that's just been absolutely hammered day in and day out for I don't know how long. And finally, I think it's made some kind of a bottom, and I think that that's a, I feel quite um, satisfied that we're playing both sides of the market here, the value side and the growth side, at least for this one. We, we think at least at this point we treat it as a balance. But the way the VIX came in, I, you know, this, this might last a little longer than people think because that volatility index was higher than it was on December the 1st, the low in the market. That was December the 3rd in the um, 
volatility index, which went to 35.32. It went all the way back down to the 15s, and then it screamed up on uh, just a Monday a week ago. And congratulations, you had a fantastic call intraday. You have the Dan, you said markets going up. Bravo. That was very good. No, thank and, you. You know, and what you just brought up, I, I, I agree with you, man. I think that, you know, this counter trend bounce, folks, okay, it can be a lot more than that because I am thinking, I'm saying, this is too easy, man. <laughs> the market's never easy, okay? It's like, I, okay, I it's going to come down to a counter trend yes. bounce, come back down again. We know it can do that. But really looking at it, it's like, okay, man, you know, we'll take it step by step. But you're absolutely right, man. There's no doubt. You know, I like it when you say this is too easy because it, it just felt, I mean, you had people talking about shorting as we were making the low. I mean, yeah, that's really, normal. I know. Right. Yeah. So I, I agree. So what's really important now is we've kept a lot of our longs that we've had for a very long time because they they might participate in this rally. At the same time, we've started fresh positions. Uh, you know, uh, you and I have been talking about inflation. We've been talking about the DBA. Look at this. This is the DBA agricultural fund. Look where it is. It's. I mean, look at this move. It's broken out. Uh, DBA trading at 20.44. We've been long since 13.77. And one that we don't have, but I showed subscribers to my opening call in my overview. The, can you believe this is Archer Daniels Midland? This is in the agri sector. All time high. Look at this breakout. Yeah, they're a monster, they're, man. They're, they're yeah. yeah. So well, that's a great so, ABC up. Wow. Yeah, so I think that the idea, so what we, we added this morning was a stock that's in the agri sector. Um, to make equipment and that sort of thing. And I think that's a, that's a play, it's maybe not a direct play that'll go up at the same speed, but it's like the um, where you, you, you're at the store that sells the shovels at the mine. That's really what you want to do. So this is, I like that. And uh, I still see stocks that I would like to add. So um, at this particular point, uh, I think that the market is telling, look, the takeoff that we had because of the Fed, so I was talking about this on Friday, and um, I hope you're feeling a lot better. You're sounding a lot better. Yeah, no, I feel like I, I sound worse than I am, but I feel you can I mean, you sound better. No, I'm with you. Because even from the okay. first segment to now, it's pretty good. All right. That's good. So what I want you to show is the takeoff when on the on Wednesday a week ago when the Fed, um, you know, they just knocked that market for a loop. That changed the strategy that I had a little bit in that. Let me just show you this. The takeoff that I like is within the first five to six sessions, there should be a powerful move that finally gets the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, and I'll talk about this in my show tomorrow yeah. in the Tiger Technicians Hour. I like to see it turn positive. It isn't there yet in the, in the Dow, but I think that Wednesday, I like the fourth session after the low that's made. You can see it right here on the left in the daily chart. This is the December 1st. Look at this. One, two, three, four. And then it takes a bit of a breather. We went one, two, and then the Fed just knocked it down. So Friday's action was great. Yesterday's was terrific. And today, I love the follow through. So I, I like what I'm seeing here. I think this is this is very good action. That's a beautiful thing. And folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. The opening call, just hit that little button. Basil, you have a great night, safe night. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. And I'm glad that, that mattress uh, held that, that mattress held so up, man. I, believe me, that was a long time ago.